Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 6 on the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and the iPod Touch 4th generation using Red Snow. Now this is firmware 6.0, it can either be the Goldmaster firmware, which Apple recently released, or it will work on the actual 6.0 firmware, the only thing that may change is the version of Red Snow that we use. However, this is a tether jailbreak. It's only temporary, however, if you turn your device off, or if the battery dies, you will need a computer in order to reboot it, Other Otherwise, Cydia or any other Cydia apps will not work until you reboot it using Red Snow. For those of you sitting there right now wondering, should I jailbreak? Is it worth it? I gotta say, a jailbreak is very easy to remove if you have second thoughts. All you have to do is go into iTunes and click Restore, as easy as that. Now, I want to show you something. See, I'm going to go into Maps, and I am running an iPhone 4. However, I do have the awesome feature called Flyover which is only available on the 4S and iPhone 5, and it runs perfectly on my iPhone 4. And this is just one of the cool things you can do with a jailbroken iPhone. Some more include 3D maps, navigation, panorama. You can use FaceTime over 3G. Of course, there's a free personal hotspot, AirPlay, and there's so much more you can do. I just don't have enough time to say all of it in this video. However, a jailbreak is certainly worth it, and this one will take just a few minutes. It's very easy and, of course, safe. And before we begin, of course, you must be either running iOS 6.0 GM or the final release and of course I am running 6.0 so I'm ready to begin now on your desktop you guys will need to download two things one of those things will be red snow 0.9.13 dev 4 and you will need your iOS 6 firmware both can be found down below in the description you'll see a link to my full guide and all downloads there all right go ahead and head over to red snow extras select IPSW and you're gonna select the 6.0 IPSW that you downloaded open it up okay and then we're gonna go back jailbreak and this is where we're gonna power off our iPhone Go ahead and power it off and go ahead and select next. And this is where we're going to be putting our iPhone into DFU mode. So press next on red snow and hold the power for 3, 2, 1 together with the home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let go of the power button and continue holding the home button until red snow recognizes your iPhone. And the jailbreak will begin. Now this only installs SSH. We do have to take an extra step in order to install Cydia, but this will be done in just a few seconds. Now your iPhone will boot up just fine. However, we do need to go ahead and go back to red snow and boot it up in tethered mode again. Now this is basically what you're going to have to do every single time your battery dies or you need to reboot your device. You will have to go into Cydia and do what I'm about to show you. Once again, we're heading over to extras, select IPSW, the 6.0 firmware again, open that up, okay, and now you're going to select just boot tethered right now. So once again, you want to power off your iPhone, and once it is off, you're going to select next on red snow. Hold the power for 3, 2, 1, together with the home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. And once your iPhone has rebooted, you will see that there are no icons on it. You will not have Cydia. It'll be completely empty like you never even did anything. And the last step that I'm about to show you, I'm going to do in two parts, one for Mac and one for Windows. It's very easy. All we have to do is force the install of Cydia on our jailbroken devices. So first up, we got to get our IP address. Make sure your iPhone is connected to the same network your computer is running on. In Wi-Fi, you're going to select the little blue arrow and there's your IP address. So this IP address is what we're going to need in order to install Cydia. Now quickly I'm going to show you guys how to do this on a Mac. So you want to go ahead and open up a terminal prompt and we're going to type ssh space root the at symbol and your IP address that was on your iPhone. Mine is 192.168.1 and 130. There you go. And it'll ask you for a password. You want to go ahead and type in Alpine. You can't see mine because it doesn't show it, but type in Alpine. And there you go. You have root access. So this code, I will include it down below with the links in my article and you want to paste it right into there. Press enter and terminal will begin installing Cydia on your iPhone. This could take a minute to download but it will respring your iPhone and you will have Cydia afterwards. And on Windows this is just as easy so you want to use a program called WinSCP. Of course I will include a download in my article as well so you want to go ahead and open it up. Up here type your IP address you got from your iPhone, username will be root and password will be Alpine. Go ahead and log in okay and this window will pop up right here so you want to go to commands open terminal okay and once again you want to copy that code in so make sure to copy it and go ahead and in the enter command prompt press paste and execute once again this will take just a couple minutes in the end your iphone will respring and you will have cydia on your springboard and that's it guys you are now jailbroken on ios 6.0 now i do hope this video helped you jailbreak your device please like and favorite this video it does help me tremendously and if you have any questions 
questions, leave a comment down below. Or if you just want to say something nice, that would be cool. Also, guys, please subscribe. There will be a ton more videos coming out about iOS 6, tweaks, jailbreaks, unlocks, the such. So make sure to subscribe to see all of that. Enjoy the jailbreak. Have a great day. Peace.